Thank you, Isaac. Now, before moving on to introduce our next speaker, can I request for members of the audience who are seated up there to move down to the field? There's actually a lot of space on the field, so if you could move down, you could also, you could also get a better view of our speakers. Now, I will take out. Thank you。好，在我介绍下一位演讲者之前，可不可以要求坐在呃这边的观众朋友们，请移到呃我们的操场这边来。我们的操场还有很多空间，呃，那你们在我们的操场上也可以更加清楚的看到我们的候选人。
yang memberi arti optimistik. Ada seorang pelajar asal sekolah yang saya pernah berjumpa di universiti. Saya bertanyakan kursus apa yang dapat dia masuki. Katanya building dan estate management. Walaupun dia berminat untuk pergi ke arts dan social science untuk menjadi ahli pentadbir. Berbanding dengan satu lagi kawan saya, seorang pelajar perempuan tempatan, dia menolak tawaran untuk masuk ke universiti bila ditawar jurusan bidang building dan estate management ini. Dia kata bukan saja dia tak minat, tapi boleh buat kerja apa bila dapat ijazah pun. Kawan saya ini seorang asing, asal sekolah ini saya terlihat di kaca TV beberapa tahun lalu sebagai pengarah atau director Singapore Land Authority. Dia mengatakan yang pemerintah tak akan menjual tanah selama dua tahun lagi. Tetapi selama dua tahun kemudian saya terlihat apakah beliau sedang bertekad kerja bila orang lain pula yang memutar balik polisi pemerintah untuk menjual semula tanah kepada pembangun-pembangun. Lepas itu heboh pula ada penyelewengan pegawai atasan lelaki SLA yang menyalahgunakan wang lebih berjuta dolar dan lelaki ini dipenjara 10 tahun. Saya tidak tahu sama ada kawan asing saya itu Asia Scholar ada terbabit atau tidak dalam kes menyalahgunakan wang rakyat. Tapi itu bukanlah persoalan saya di sini. Saya amat berharap masyarakat tempatan kita akan lebih minati bidang-bidang yang boleh meningkatkan diri mereka hingga tidak direbut oleh orang asing yang lebih mendapat manfaat dari kita. Saya juga harapkan pihak pemerintah PAP dapat lebih tulus dalam menangani isu penggelapan wang rakyat oleh pegawai atasan SLA. Berbalik pula kisah saya sekarang ini, tadi saya tadi saya ada melakukan lawatan ke rumah-rumah dan telah pergi ke blok 169 di Bukit Batok West 8. Di bawah kolong flat, hebat ada pelbagai kemudahan termasuklah pusat kawalan kejiranan. Tetapi nampaknya tidak diurus baik sebab malam semalam pintu sebuah unit telah disimpah cat merah oleh pengurus urut Along San yang mungkin tersalah rumah. Saya minta diberi peluang untuk pengundi menukar tampuk pimpinan yang gagal memastikan perkara ugutan ini tidak berlaku. Bila kami LSP diundi, kami ingin memperkenalkan sistem teknologi tinggi yang dapat memantau kawasan ini dengan jayanya. Ada juga penduduk ingin mensuarakan kebimbangan mereka tentang masa pencin yang sekian mereka akan dipegang oleh pemerintah. Mereka bimbang tidak mampu untuk menyara hidup mereka. Jadi mudilah kami dari NSP akan dapat lantang menyatakan polisi minimum sama mereka yang tidak lagi relevan dan harus diubah suai untuk keadaan di koloni semasa. And now I will speak in English. I like to translate whatever I have spoken. Okay, I'll leave it to my fellow uh, candidates who would like to speak about manifesto and all the other problems. Anyway, we have a lot of uh, feedback that we have not suggested enough solution to the present problems. And a lot of people have asked me what made me stand here before you all now. And the best thing I can say is that I have the interest. I am interesting! Yeah. Oh. We often hear this phrase from, I think foreigners, mainly from China. Instead of saying I'm not interested, they say I'm not interesting. But today I stand before you and as a local, I say I'm very interesting. Oh. Okay, actually Prime Minister Mr. Lee Sandung say that politics is not masak masak. Being a mother tongue, I took it quite differently. Because even as a youngster, I play pondok pondok. We make believe that we are housewives, we are, you know, the future leaders and so on. So right now, we would like to inform about this masak-masak situation where, you know, the local candidate yeah, who failed to get in time to become a candidate from the opposition when he's just late for 25 seconds. And that's the ask, yeah, and the ask the Paga. And I wish a Malay woman there, instead of just main masak-masak, where politics is not main masak-masak, would help to raise the status of such men so that they would not be late again for another 35 minutes the next time around. 
factor is of contribution to make and they should be interesting in such cases. And also I'd like to talk about a friend whom I know to be a STEM scholar when I was studying in RGS Raffles Girls Secondary School. I was with her for four years and the class has grown from just about 40 plus which is optimum then to 46 and I've stayed that cramp for four years in RGS. But what happened was just a few years back, I saw her on TV doing a press conference about the government not wanting to sell land to the developers for the next two years. And I recognized her as one of those access scholars. And I remember even the years when I was in NUS, I asked her what course she has managed to you know, obtain. And she told me it was building and stage management. And I have another friend who is a local or Malay who had refused to enter university when offered such a course. And at that time, it was due to demand that the arts and social course is overpopular. Nobody can get in locally or even her as an ASEAN scholar. But my friend refused to go in, but instead she went in, and she went on to become a director of SLA. Only thing I noticed that a few years later, that another set of directors had informed that the government would now send land again to developers. That was only what happened to her when she has left SLA as a director. And then we hear further, there were a lot of cases of misuse of public funds, you know, where tenders are awarded, but no, that, nothing done. You see, and somebody was there for 10 years. So I was wondering what happened to her too, whether she was involved, being a foreigner earlier and now a foreigner as a director of SLA. What happened? A scholar, what happened? So perhaps KP would answer to my question. And a few questions earlier when I was like introduced as a candidate by NSP, they asked me what house I was in. So I told them I was from Wardwell. So there were a lot of uh, reporters from RGS and they're from other houses, but none from Wardwell. And there was the yellow house, which I thought was like a sanguine uh, personality trait, because a lot of us from Wardwell House are uh, of that trait. So I am a Wardwell House person <laughs> from RGS. Okay, and again today when I walked around, I went to Block 169, Bukit Batok West Avenue 8, and at the point that I saw there's this um, watch, a neighborhood watch centre, but it failed to function because one of the units of that block happened to have a long sun splash, red paint all over the front door, and I really got uh, like nothing done no, by the present management of that estate. And I hope when we get voted in, we can do a high-end technology which I believe is more efficient and would manage the estate safety better. So with that, I'd like to end today's speech. So I hope you give NSP one of the best time this year to be voted in as members of